Welcome back to Richland Center as we are picking up things on the consolation side. Ken Manning, Western Wisconsin Video Productions. Hope you enjoy today's broadcast on Channel 2, which is a change. We apologize. We were looking at Channel 14, but something went awry. But we are on twitch.tv backslash WWVP LLC with me. Longtime friend uh, Chuck Grasmussen from Lancaster. And I tell you what, uh, this tournament uh, with some excellent teams in here, I'm uh, looking forward to see how the individual team race is going to go, Chuck. Yeah, I, I you know, just kind of watching things, I think uh, Ithaca Weston has shown very well so far. I think GET has looked very good so far. Um, Bear was. Baraboo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. might be the top four teams right there too. Three uh, Division One schools that I'm thinking of: Monroe, Toma, Monroe also. Yep, Monroe picks up another win right there, and uh, and Baraboo. So three of those. Mm -hmm. There's a pin down your direction. Yeah, that was uh, on mat number one. Carter Spencely picks up a pin in the consolation matches. That was at 132. Spencely from Belmont Platteville. And uh, wasn't uh, wasn't he one of the top seeds? He kind of got he was the picked, number two seed. Yeah, got picked got, off. Got yeah, picked off. you know that's the hard part about uh, the early kind of. I don't know if we want to call this an early season tournament or not. I mean, we're late December. Um, a lot of these uh, wrestlers here, they've got 10, 12 wins already, or you know matches, mm -hmm. and uh, so they they've kind of got things out. But you never know. It could be style. It could be maybe somebody's not feeling very well. Yep. Those kinds of things. And, and some uh, forfeits. And then somebody yep. else that doesn't have a top seat or two. Maybe they've wrestled a couple of very, very, very quality wrestlers yeah. already and got beat. So right, exactly. Changes things a little it bit. It changes too. that seating. It does. You know, and you don't know who you're, uh, you don't have the uh, like opponents, you know, common opponents yeah, and stuff. I have to look through, but I think there was somebody that came in at 0-0 and, &0 and uh, he defeated a topper. Yep. Top seed maybe. Yep. There was a, that was a, a pin. I remember you, you. I think you called that one. I, I think I did too. Yeah. I don't remember exactly what weight class that was right now. Uh, at 132 on mat number one. And again, the consolation matches are 1 2 2. And that's, uh, is that a wrestler from Reedsburg? Reedsburg, yep. At 132, and opponent is. Baraboo. Okay, so Reedsburg is Harrods. And, and that's a, that's a quick pin over yep, there. Yep. So that one's over. Yeah, he was wrestling uh, Kevazos. Harrods was so Harrods will move on. It's in consolation matches now. I'm uh, I'm thinking now what they'll do is uh, would, again it makes sense that they would take their lunch break right after this, and then uh, because then you'll have your semis. Yeah on the consolation and yeah. championship and then your placement matches yeah and since there's not the ability to wrestle back for a third maybe mm -hmm. they'll wrestle them both at the same same time that they should that i would right. think right with the, maybe the championships on mats two and three and the consolation brackets on one and four i'm not sure right well taking a look uh we're trying to pick up on wrestlers down on mat number four again consolation at 132 pounds it's a River Valley Blackhawk wrestler, and uh, we'll check on that. That is Devin, Devlin Kruger. Ooh, somebody opened the door. Oh, yeah. I feel I, the cold there coming it's, in. It's been coming up a lot. Yeah. I'm going to tell, yell up at Bill and tell him to go shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> on mat number two, it's Cole White from uh, River Valley wrestling against Benny Bemis from Toma. I thought you said cold white for a second there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely feel that. Kruger over on uh, Matt Four here. That looks like uh, his opponent is Hillsborough. So Kruger, who lost, that was Matt Nine. So he's over here. He is wrestling Novacek from uh, uh, Hillsborough. Bemis comes up with a fall over White in 39 seconds in the consolation match at 138. Again, we're waiting for a time consideration on several of these mats right now.
Yeah, that's the that's the only thing that's going to slow things down is mm -hmm. making sure that you have the, the the time factor. But you know, here the other part is Chuck is notice how many buys there were. Right. You know, in that uh, prelim round, so it kind of filters out a little bit that way too. Uh, the quarterfinal losers are wrestling now, possibly. So that's what they're waiting on is those quarterfinal right. matches. Yeah. 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 And that. That seemed like a really good fast round. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. yeah, going very well so far. I'll find some wood to knock on, but <laughs> yeah, good. right, absolutely. Over on mat four, uh, Kruger is still out in front over uh, his opponent in Novacek from Hillsboro. That score four nothing. Novacek trying to come up with a takedown here. Very close to it. and uh, But now rolling through it is going to be no points. As Kruger nearly came away with the takedown, but the body was out, out of bounds. To Matt number one now would be Nick Stitzer from Riverdale. He's going to be wrestling against Caden Schneider. From Reedsburg, just underway a consolation match at 138. A mat number one again. One two twos is the uh, periods. 145 here we have uh, Fry from GT Mel Min, and his opponent is Monroe in Ryan uh, Holst. Fry coming in, a he was four and four. He won his first match, was pinned by Gorski, the top seed, so he's five and five. And now he is wrestling uh, a senior in Ryan Holst. Schneider with the first takedown over Stitzer. Last five seconds of the first period in this consolation match at 138 on that number one. Well, Kruger, I apologize over on mat number uh, four. I thought Kruger was ahead, but he was actually behind. He picks up a couple of points, trailing four to two with 30 seconds to go. He's trying to come up with a chest crusher here and see if he can't win the match in the final 20 seconds. Meanwhile, trying to stay in good position. 
That is Hillsborough's Novacek. The winner of this round will be guaranteed eighth place in this consolation side. There's the end of the match. And it will be Novacek who will pick up the uh, win over Kruger of River Valley, it looks like. Schneider with a reversal on Stitzer. Trying to come up with a fall. And he will come up with a fall. So Schneider from Reedsburg moves on with a pin. And as Ken said, he'll be guaranteed eighth. <clears throat> At 145 pounds, we have on the mat, mat three. We're going to get a pin here for the Titans in uh, let's see, again, in uh, Hayden Fry, he picks up the pin, and he'll move on into the semifinals of the consolation, the back half of the bracket. We have another River Valley wrestler out on the mat, on mat number four at 138 pounds. If uh, things are the way they're supposed to be, it's, uh, the way it looks like anyways. That is uh, white of River Valley. And let's see, he goes down here. He is taking on Xander Adkins, a freshman from uh, Ithaca Weston. That's a 2-2 score right now. And time will run out in that first period. Again, as Chuck mentioned, it's a 1-2-2. Your first period in Consolation is always one minute long. Now, the only exception to that, Chuck, is state tournament trail mm -hmm. because uh, you're not done until you're done. Until you're done. <laughs> All right. Up next on mat number two, it looks like at 152 pounds, it's going to be Hunter Olaf from River Valley and Blaine Brooker from Toma, but they're still waiting on that. We're going to have a match at 152. They're waiting on. We'll take a look here as a 2-2 score, as we mentioned, over on mat number four. Trying to come up with a reversal, not able to do so. Adkins still in the down position with White of River Valley in control. One of the Monroe wrestlers just picked up a forfeit. Don't oh. know what weight, though. They didn't put that up on the board, but... Come across. No, excuse me. That's a basketball wrestler. The singlet's looking pretty oh, much alike. Yeah, they do, yep. So. Huh. White now looking for a power half with the legs in. Not able to get the turn. Atkins doing a good job fighting that off with a minute to go, though, in this uh, second period. And they'll wind up rotating out of bounds. Well, thanks again to those sponsors. We might as well run through a few of them. We hope you're enjoying today's broadcast of high school wrestling. The Weston and Ithaca Wrestling Clubs combining forces. And uh, Ryan mentioned that they are going to be having some uh, tournaments. The plan is late January, so stay tuned for that. We'll try to have those announcements for you uh, down the road. Thanks to Walsh's Ace Hardware right here in Richland Center and, of course, over there, in Muscaday, thanks to Emily and Peter and Chad and all the great crew. WCCU, that is Kevin Hauser and his team as they lead the way with nine new, or I should say, existing facilities. Wallace Cooper and Ellie Insurance, as Sheila Troxo and her team of insurance experts right here in Richland Center. We appreciate their terrific support. In the upper right-hand part of your screen, it's going to be a Hunter Olaf from River Valley, a junior at 152 pounds wrestling against Blaine Brooker, a freshman from Toma. It's again a consolation match at 152, just underway. Thanks to Jeff Campbell and the Riverdale Wrestling Club bringing you today's action. And, of course, uh, title works right here in Richland Center when it comes to uh, all, all that you need when it comes to title insurance and abstract work. That's Mark Crary and Vernon Communications helping us out 
once again. Of course, on the, the Cashton School Channel, bringing you today's action. Pizza Hut of Richland Center. Stop in there for all kinds of great pizza mixes. I tell you what, they do a wonderful job with that. Richland Electric Cooperative Board of Directors wishing everyone the best here today and a happy holiday season as well as Richland Grant Telephone in Blue River. Thanks to Greg and John and Lori and that team down there. Customer owned, customer governed and of course customer benefits. And Rob Richards Richards Insurance, Reesburg and Ithaca. Your local independent insurance needs. Stop in and talk to Rob Owen and the crew. Well, we take a look here. I, uh, I just got a message from uh, Buck Fish yeah. 53 minutes ago that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that we will get updated brackets at the end of this round. <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs> Oh. You know, these uh, ear things on, I couldn't hear my phone. Yeah. I should have had it out in front of me, but I just checked it. <laughs> well, I didn't catch who won the match at 138 over there between White and Adkins. I did see the score was 4-2, to two, and I I know it was red, and I wanted to say that, that uh, I thought maybe that White was, uh, Cole White was red, and if so, that means he was the victor by a score of four to two. Well, I know I'm at number two. It's Blaine Brooker from Toma coming up with the fall. And he'll move into the consolation brackets again. When you win here, you can anywhere from fifth to eighth. Yep. Right. Well. So a little bit of a break here right now. Consolation matches as we suspected. What? Probably very similar this round to the uh, very first round. The very first, yeah, the prelims, yeah. yeah. Well, here we go at 152. We're going to have Baraboo and GET Mel Min. So let's take a look here at uh, uh, GET Mel Min. It looks to me like this would be uh, Colin. Uh, Nita Korn 
And uh, is that uh, Tikkanen, did you say? I believe that's, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, they're going to travel out of bounds. So Niedekorn and Tikkanen. Don't say those too fast. Hmm. We'll get all tongue-tied. Oh, they did I hear him call 160? That might be what's next on on uh, mat number three, maybe. Oh, that know. could be. Yeah, just the way that track assigns him. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. Conson well, uh, Badger <coughs> women's play tonight for national oh. championship in volleyball. I don't know if you've ever time. watched. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, those guys, they are they, tough. They are oh, tough and some gee. very good athletes. <laughs> So tell me, which one I heard on the radio, who is, which, isn't one of them like 6'9"? Of the Badgers? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I believe. Uh, is it the senior? There's, there's a couple of them that uh, Dana Radke, she's like 6'8 or whatever, and then they have a, uh, a freshman, I believe, that's like 6'9". It was okay. inter interesting. We were, uh, um, I didn't, I did not hear the interview with um, um, Sheffield, uh, the coach, or coach the, Sheffield, the, uh -huh. uh, for the Badgers, but he was talking about. They were talking about. Uh, all right, what what is it now that you see that volleyball, women's volleyball, or college volleyball has gotten so much better? And I never thought about it too, but it was. And the answer was, well, so many of the really the good women athletes, uh, they don't they don't go all towards basketball anymore. They will go to the volleyball. Huh. And I thought, that's an interesting answer I never thought of. Wow, yeah. And he was very, uh, uh, I guess it was a very interesting interview. That, that would have been, yeah. yeah. Well, here, here's a quick reversal here, by the way. No back points, though. Well, I don't know if it's even a reversal yet. Now it will be. <clears throat> Picking up some back points here. That is uh, Toma. In, uh, or excuse me, Baraboo. I don't know why I'm doing that. Tikkanen has Niederkorn in trouble, and now he has the pin. You know, I'm surprised uh, in volleyball, too, just watching, and I don't know if if, that, if I'm across and and I uh, maybe I blocked a shot or two or yours or whatever, which would be un <laughs> but you'd probably go up and, and smack the next one right in my face. <laughs> and it's, it's surprising to me that more of them aren't taking it in the face. I know. The, and it's like, I'm literally, when I say 90 miles an hour, I mean, it's 90 miles an yeah, hour. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. They uh, are solid. We, uh, we actually looked that up one time, and you're real close. I think they said in the 80s as yeah. far as with that, and then the serves too, which is like, wow. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how they do it. That's just, uh, when I just think back, you know, way, way back when uh, we used to play some volleyball uh -huh. different places, and, you know, that was fun, but, I mean, that's, Obviously, that's uh, child's play compared well, to what they're doing. So. Yeah, we'd get hurt playing with <laughs> the girls. <laughs> no kidding. Be like Brett, Brett Favre in that commercial. It's like, I'm just falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've done that. All right. <laughs> well, well, all four mats, we're still waiting. They see we got a 160 and a uh, 220 mat. Three.
Yeah, they're just the uh, just the time factor here is all. So bear with us on that. We do want to say thanks to uh, the Phoenix Center, Amy and Tom and all the crew down here in uh, Richland Center. Of course, the bowling alley there. O'Reilly Auto Parts supporting today's broadcast. And uh, Bill Klemick with his Baker's dozen of uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts stores that he takes care of. Nordic Lane's up there in Westby. Hope you're enjoying today's broadcast and uh, enjoy some family bowling there as well. The Monroe Wrestling Club, USA card is required for their upcoming tournament that is going to be held uh, on uh, January 26th. That's a Sunday, folks, at uh, Monroe High School. It's the Mat Rats. Well, I tell you what, it's $20 uh, with pre-registration and $25 if you come in the day of. They will allow walk-ins. Not too many uh, tournaments do that anymore, but they will allow a walk-in uh, for this one. And Manny O'Derry Farms, Rand and Heidi Manning, uh, they remind you of the custom chopping, combining. Uh, you can give them a call uh, anytime. They wish all the best and a happy uh, holiday season. Merry Christmas. Napa Auto Parts, Jones Auto Parts Store, Bosque Bell, Richland Center, offering you brand name parts for your vehicle. And Laval Telephone, serving Casanova and Laval 50 plus years. They got to be pushing 60 by now. And uh, Jones Chevrolet right here in Richland Center. Thanks to Ryan Jones and the family out on Highway 14 East. Sales and service at its best. And out on uh, Highway 14, a little further out, go to Gotham. Inspired Innovations. It's Jenny Ewers as she invites you to stop in and see the difference and what they can do with the hair salon out there now in Gotham. Well, uh, again, a lot of uh, uh, well, action coming up here, but I'm it's quiz stalemate. You. I'm going to quiz you. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, not many changes this year as far as in uh, rules and that as far as. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't look at them. <laughs> no, 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 no. There, isn't, there actually isn't many rules. Oh, changes, good. Yeah. But um, there are two things that I think that are going to happen. Oh. Or one of them, uh, too. What is the, uh, the deal as far as matches? It used to be, what, seven and seven? You could go to seven tournaments and seven yep. dual meets or something like that? Yep. That's yep. changed. That did. I heard that. And now it's, uh, I it think whatever? you can go to as many, you can have as many dual meets as you want. You okay. can have as many tournaments as you want. But you can't, you cannot have, I think 50 is the magic number. Uh, you either have 50 as the max or 49 as the max when you enter regionals. Oh, year. okay, sure, sure. So, And I think that that's a good thing as far as especially down the road. I think you're going to see a lot of quads and maybe quads on Friday nights. Uh-huh. Maybe one Friday night you're wrestling a quad or a six or whatever, and, and then uh, you have Saturday off. Right. And I, and I hope, too, that, you know, I, I've seen especially down our way here uh, – there's, in our uh, SWC, there's hardly any Friday night matches, which oh, really? I think is a, just yeah. a, a, a travesty. And that they should, I think, I still say, I get back on my, on my horse here. <laughs> I, I think every gym should be used on a Friday night, be oh, it yeah. boys basketball or girls basketball or wrestling. Right. And this Monday night, Tuesday night, I don't, I don't know that it's a, a real good thing. Right. Um, <laughs> the other thing that I... Uh, I've heard, and I, I don't know the complete details on it. It sounds like that the state individual tournament is going to be seeded. Uh, I heard that too, yes. Is that just one, two, three, and four seeds, or are they going to seed uh, all the way through the whole I, bracket? That I didn't, I don't know the answer to that part of it, but I did hear that it was going to be seeded. So. Yeah. And I think that's a good thing too, you know. You know, it was coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you know, there's, you see, just because of the way the matrix has been, you see, too many times the number one and number two wrestlers meet on Friday night versus Saturday, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I think that'll 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 make the finals even that much right more exciting. Yeah, so, yeah. A couple changes there, and uh, and I think again, I don't know the answer if it's just one through four or if it's going to be all of them. I don't know. So in division two and three, that's what sixteen. 12. Two and three is 12. 12. Yeah. And 16 and, and 1. 16 in Division yeah. 1. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be. Uh, and then uh, also, uh, don't they have girls state mm -hmm. wrestling this year? Too? It's going to be held at the Lacrosse Center. At the Lacrosse Center. And uh, if, if I understand it correctly, the, the girls 
will have to decide if they want which way they want to go, if they want to go which individual tournament they want to go to. But if they decide to go with the girls state tournament, which I th would think most of them probably will, they'll still be available to wrestle for team sectionals in the team state. Well, that would team. make sense. Yeah. They just can't go into the region, boys, the, the boys regional regions. side. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So. You know, that makes, I, I think that makes total sense to, to do something like that. So. I, yeah. Yeah. And I, I think it's good. I think it's good. <clears throat> well, so. the, and the, and for everybody to know about the girls one, that is my understanding. That's the last weekend in January, January. Mm -hmm. prior to the conference tournaments. Okay. So that kind of gives them a chance to <laughs> make that decision one mm -hmm. way or the other also. Well, we're going to move to 160 pounds, and uh, this is going to be a single match going on. Take a look here. Uh, Hillsboro and River Ridge. Let's see. This is going to be a Hunter Osorio as uh, he jumps from, uh, that was 15. So River Ridge is uh, Levi Worley. So Worley. Going to give up the takedown here to Osorio. Tell you what, uh, Hunter's been around a while. I'm a little surprised he came into the tournament with a one and three record, but uh, that's, uh, that might be a little deceiving. Yeah, I was. Uh, I'm trying to decide on uh, when we do our when I do my state tournament series if I how how I'm going to do that. I would kind of like to be able to, you know, do the tape delayed broadcast of that girls state tournament. I think that's going to be very interesting. Now they have ten weight classes. Is that correct? I'm not sure. It's it's a yeah, reduced number. It is it is reduced, but and as, as we talk about that too, that is uh, something that's going to be on the horizon here also in the. Uh, uh, high school wrestling too. The number of weight classes that we're going to have. It's. Mm -hmm. I understand it's <clears throat> going to be coming up for a vote. Do we want to stay at 14? Do we want to go to 12? Or do we want to go to 13? Or maybe even 10? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I think that's. That, <laughs> I think that, in which, in my opinion, that's good. There's way too many forfeits, and there's way too many kids that are wrestling varsity right now that would be better off for the G year on JV. Yeah. Just. Uh, yeah. And try and give them some uh, quality time on the mat. Yeah. Yes. On mat number two, it's a basketball wrestler. Let me find it here. Wyatt Anderson, who is uh, fighting to avoid the pin. Wrestling against, uh, is that Toma? That is uh, Baraboo. Baraboo. Okay. Let me find him here. Riley Martin. Trying to come up with a fall on mat number two. And there it is. Osorio leads 4 nothing now in the second period of his match. Well, I think there's, uh, does Lancaster have any young ladies wrestling this year? In, in the high school? high school, no. No, um, okay. We did have, and we have one that should be. Uh, she was not too bad as far as in middle school. Uh huh. Um, she would be a sophomore this year. Oh, okay. Uh, we have had uh, another one uh, a few years ago that was a sectional qualifier. Um, got a couple more in the middle school that are wrestling. Uh huh. Um, one that uh, just joined us last year as a seventh grader. And, uh, uh, Brad Ball would be his or her dad, who you, you might remember yep. from school. Yep, yep. And she, uh, she's a little go-getter, and she, <laughs> uh, if I had to put on a, uh, the a most improved wrestler last year in middle school, she was probably going to get that award. Wow. Good athlete. All right, on mat number two, now it's a River Valley wrestler, it looks like. This is 220. Jacob Bindle. That's uh, Monroe, I think. Yeah, I'm thinking so, too. I'm trying to find Monroe here. Oh, yeah, Austin Fox. 
So Jacob Bindle, Oxen Fox on mat number two. And then on mat number one, that's uh, Carter Hayback from Toma. And his opponent. Hillsboro. Okay. Toma and Hillsboro, yeah. All yep. right, Hillsboro. Find him here, and that'd be Ethan Novacek. Novacek, I believe. Now well, a pinning combination going on here on Matt three. Osorio with a six nothing lead now has his opponent in trouble. Very close to the pin. He's trying to fight things off, but it's gonna to be too late. Osorio will pick up the victory over his River Ridge opponent and he'll move on here. Uh, that was uh, Levi Worley. <clears throat> Jacob Bindle from River Valley. The winner on mat number two, a pin over the Monroe wrestler, and that's Austin Fox. Well, we're going to get Austin Culpit to uh, come out onto the mat here pretty soon. He's going to be on mat three, but again, there's a little bit of a time factor there for him uh, that he has to wait. It looks like, anyways. Um, let's see. Now he was he was picked off in that uh, first round by Thomas Haney, so he is uh, waiting to wrestle. Richard Center, no, Richard Center Hornets actually coming out here at 285 right now. Novacek with a 8 nothing lead at the minute and 22 mark of the second period. Trying to come up with the fall is Ethan Novacek from Hillsboro. His opponent is Carter Hayback from Toma. So let's take a peek here at Matt 3. Bruce Buckholtz of Richland Center, a junior. Lost out, so let's see, he is taking on Owen Callahan of River Ridge. We'll see how that match goes.
That was Hillsborough that picked up a win over there, huh? The bot check, yeah. There was a, I saw a slam call earlier in that match. Okay. I missed that. But. There's a nice little uh, maneuver and then getting the, oh, no, they're going to say nothing. You know, that's not a bad call right there. Lynn Eisensee was right on top of that one. Looked like there was going to be a takedown, then a quick switch all in one motion, and then the buzzer sounded. So nothing happening there. It's going to stay at zeros. On that number one, we slide back to the 170-pound weight class. That's a basketball wrestler, at, uh, and that's uh, Ethan Hulse. On mat number one, and he's wrestling in, I think, is that G-E-T or is that Cashton? That is G-E-T, yep. G-E-T, okay, and that's Alex Wazorczyk. Wazorczyk. Ethan Holtz on mat number one at 170. Yeah, Wazorczyk, yep. Wazorczyk? Yep. Okay. Christian Center is still in control here in the 285 pound matchup. Buck Holtz taking on Callahan. And on mat number two, it'll be a River Valley wrestler at 285 pounds. Let me get the, this one here. Another Brett Bindle. I was going to say another Bindle. <laughs> another Bindle, and he's wrestling against, is that Hillsboro? Yes. Denver Hill. Okay. So Denver Hill from Hillsboro. Brett Bindle from River Valley on mat number two at 285. Buckholz picking up some back points now off from a chest crusher. Now he's going to come up over the top, and there's the pin. Buckholz. Bruce Buckholz is going to move on into the consolation semifinals with a victory here. We'll see if we have uh, Austin Culpit is warming up a little bit here, but still uh, nothing happening just yet. And a takedown for Brett Bindle. Right as time expires, not able to pick up any near fall points. But Bindle with a four to one lead and going into period number two, he'll defer. One nothing on Matt number one. Ethan Holtz with the lead over Alex. Resort, how did you say that? Um, Resort? Resort check. Resort check, okay. That's how I said it okay. anyways. That was a Resort, Resort, Resort Rick. I'm Resort, sorry. Okay. Resort Rick. Yep. Bendo is a uh, He's a big boy big too. Big boy, yes he is. Can you imagine him in the in front of you in the line for yep. football, huh? Yes. <laughs> yep. Take down for Bindle, up six to two now. Well, time runs out over on Matt one. That was Hulse from Basquebel. Again, we're waiting for mat three, where we'll watch Austin Culpit come out onto the mat. We'll say thanks to uh, Rick Fruit <coughs> here in Richland Center. That's Driftless Area Hunters Outlet bringing you today's action. Genuine Telcom also supporting today's broadcast. Best internet service in Richland Center. Titan Wrestling Club wishing all the best to the GET Mel Min crew. And Harchie Lumber when it comes to top quality products for your renovation or construction project, be sure to contact Scott Parrish and team. Hulse leading 5 nothing as they do a little bit of blood cleanup on Zorek. 
Bindle leading 6-2 with 15 seconds remaining in their second period at 285. Bindle from River Valley, Wrestling Hill from Hillsboro. Well, Merry Christmas from Century 21. That's the old wrestling family and Paul and Chris Brenninger bringing you today's action. We thank them for their support. And then another wrestling family, of course, is Tim and Brendan McMillan with checkered flag out there in Reedsburg. They got uh, Mason is wrestling in college, and so I know that uh, Tim, I know they were heading somewhere today to watch where he was wrestling, so good luck to him. Community First Bank, that's Aaron Ewing and the team out there uh, just on the outskirts of, on Sextonville Road, I guess is what we would call it. And also Coon Valley Telecommunications, we thank them for their support. Culver's of Richland Center, that's uh, Melissa Hillishim out here, uh, out on Highway 14, out by the Walmart area. And of course, Joe Hall, Dairyland Transportation, another wrestling family that tell you what, uh, it's always great to have uh, folks like that that are willing to uh, help out putting things on the airways. Well, Culpit is now approaching and uh, he'll report and also his opponent here tonight or this afternoon, I should say, from uh, Boscobel. This is going to be Kane Groom. Now, this is uh, kind of interesting because uh, Groom is the number four seed. He got picked off by uh, Manorano from Belmont Platteville, and Culpit was, uh, I believe, the number six seed, and he got knocked off by uh, Thomas Haney of GET. So here are couple of good seeds mm -hmm. <laughs> that are wrestling here in uh, the Constellation side. And one of them, their day will be done. Yep. Bindle leading 6-3. Last 35 seconds of the third period in that 285-pound match. Hulse up 5-3 now with 45 seconds remaining in that match. And he'll get a reversal to make it now 7-3.
Oh, Bindle has been uh, reversed and put on his back. Bindle. I believe it was reversed. Maybe just put on his just put on his back. So it's going to be six six. Yep. Six six. We're going to go overtime in the 285 pound match between Brett Bindle from River Valley and Denver Hill from Hillsboro. Both wrestlers still on their feet as time runs out here on mat number three. No score in the match. It's Culpit's choice, and he says, I want to defer. And Groom says, let's go neutral. I didn't see Take what down happened. wins it. Oh, yeah. Between Bindle and Hill. Oh, good scramble, and it's going to be Bindle coming out on top for the takedown. Quite the scramble. Mm -hmm. I didn't see who won on the mat one either. Well, that Hulse was, was ahead seven to three. I didn't okay. see, but I, I think that was I think who he won. won. I, I saw him do a fist bump with somebody, okay. so All right. that's probably a good indicator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More so than any other time. Still no score, and I tell you what, Groom, I, he's got a he's got a bum knee there, and he's comes up limping a little bit. Tell you what, those big boys, they can take a pounding. Over under situation here now, and going on the attack. One sixteen to go, as you can see on the clock in front of you. Again, now a double overhook here and uh, by Groom. But, oh, Culpit, nice job on his uh, rotation. And he's going to get the pin just like that. Groom tried to make the throw, and he couldn't quite finish it. And Culpit was able to kind of rotate the hips up over the top, and he comes away with the pin. And Groom is in some pain. Well, we must have at least one more 285-pound um, match, I'm assuming. Looks like over here on mat one, the young man standing down there from, I don't know if that's Riverdale or GT. I think it's GT, maybe. All right, starting 12, the 15. semifinals at 12.15, they say. Okay. So, GT Mel Men, they do have a wrestler oh. there. Here comes an upgrade. <laughs> How you doing, sir? <laughs> Mr. Kirk Lair going to take over here. Just, uh, I'll finish this round out. <laughs> I just, I, you know, what, what worries me is I just burn, I burn people away all the time. You know, you got to leave, and then he come, you know, Kirk can come in for about two or three hours, and, you know, that's all you guys can stand of me. Is that oh, it? No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have pity, pity, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do we have here? Is that? Uh, that's Keith? a Mel Min. Mel Min. And uh, Reedsburg. So that's uh, at 285. Zach Weber from Reedsburg. Well, that's a GET, yeah, Mel Min. Weber's a. Uh, Long time familiar name there, right? All right. Well, it was, I think, Weber coming, which. That's not going to take long. No, <coughs> it, it didn't. So GT Mel Min is going to pick up the win here. Yep. Haney. Haney does. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, we are going to take uh, a half-hour break. We hope you enjoyed watching this Western Wisconsin video production of the Richland Center High School Wrestling Invitational, the 58th annual one. And Chuck, thanks so much for being here this you morning. Bet. Appreciate it. Always enjoy it. And uh, have a great uh, family Christmas that you got to uh, go to and appreciate uh, all that help here. You bet. And uh, we'll be ready for the bi-state down the road here in another yeah, week not or so. Too, uh, too far down the road. <laughs> so, all right. Sounds good. Right. Thanks, Ken. Thank you. Well, let's take one quick look here. Final page 
uh, of our sponsors, Advanced Pump and Well Solutions, Ash Creek Plumbing and Heating, helping us out, Badgerland Flooring, Belmont Platteville Wrestling Club, supporting today's broadcast, and the Cashton Wrestling Club. Appreciate all of these uh, fine folks, and we will be back in a half an hour uh, on the TV side. We're going to let you take a look at uh, some of our sponsors here uh, as we want to uh, showcase them as much as we possibly can. And, of course, we will have this all back on uh, on a tape delayed basis and on my YouTube channel. All kinds of great things coming up here down the road. So thanks again, everyone, and uh, stay tuned. At about 12.15, we'll return with more here uh, from high school wrestling at Richland Center. Mm -hmm.